Hey guys, this is my 1953 Plymouth Cranbrook. This is actually a one owner car. I bought it from the son of the father who bought it brand new. And as you can see, it's kind of a barn find. The car overall is in great shape for its age. It's not real rotted or anything. The floors are gonna need to be replaced, but the body panels themselves are not bad. You know, there's some small stuff, but nothing horrible. A lot of guys cut these and make two doors out of them, or you can just run it the way it is. I would put a small block in it. It would be a pretty cool car. It's got some pretty cool patina on it, as you can see. It has a really, really nice dashboard. The whole car is complete. You know, it's got everything, everything that it came with. The dash is really cool. And the floors are shot. The floors are going to need to be replaced. As you can see, they're, they're completely missing in some spots. But the rest of the panels on the car aren't bad. The doors are good. The quarters are mostly good. The fenders are good. The trunk's good. You know, just the very, very bottom edge right there on the quarter is what's rotted. And along the wheel well here. But all in all, it's in pretty good shape. The frame on this car is good. You can see the frame rails are solid. They're not rotted through or anything. You know, they're all in, in nice, nice condition. Just the floors, which are pretty easy to replace. If you're looking to make a hot rod on a budget, you know, looking to spend a million dollars on a Merc or something like that, this would be a great car. You know, if you look, at, look these cars up chopped, they look pretty cool. The frame, same thing on the driver's side. It's solid all the way across. No holes in it, no rot or anything like that. Just the floors, again, just like the other side, are, are rotted real bad. But you see, like, even the fenders, just a tiny, tiny hole right there. All in all, they're solid metal. The doors are nice. It's pretty rare to find a car this old in this condition. You see the bottom of the driver quarter has a little hole in it right there. But that's all easy stuff if you're handy with a, with a welder. Pretty easy to fix this stuff. This has the high drive, which is like a half automatic, half manual transmission. Get the VIN number right there. This is underneath the hood. I took the head off. The head goes with the car. It's in the back seat. The motor does turn free. Uh, that was the reason we took the head off so that we could soak the cylinders with oil. And it did, it was stuck when I got it, but it is free now, it does turn over easily. This is inside the trunk. You can see there's a bunch of parts here, the fan, the radiator. The trunk lid itself is in nice condition. It's not rotted or anything like that. You know, it's got a little bit of surface rust on the very edges here, but it, it's not rotted through. The trunk pan is rotted, as the floors are. As you can see, the spare tire well is rotted through. The, the center of the pan isn't that bad, but there are some holes in it, but it does need to be fixed. That's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. My number is 203-912-2206, or you can message me right through the auction. Uh, if you have a low feedback score, which is the number next to your username, if you have, like, less than 15, Contact me before you bid, or I'm going to block your bid. Um, just because a lot of people sign up for eBay and then bid on a car, and then they win it, and then they never pay for it, and you never respond to your emails or anything like that. Nothing personal. That's about it. Thanks for checking out my auction.